Story time from Boston Children's Museum. What do animals do when we're not looking? Written, illustrated, and read by Karen Hansen. Have you ever wondered how animals might be when no one's around to find out and see? Would critters from a river play poker for bread while you're sound asleep, curled up in your bed? Might a horse try to climb to the top of a tree to show its new friend how spry it can be? Would a fish greet a gal in an old-fashioned way? Oh, hello. In a pond full of reeds that's far, far away. Might a cow give a rose to a lucky field mouse while you're unaware, tucked away in your house? Do snakes turn bright colors and play with the newts in a swamp tucked away from the well-traveled roots? Do iguanas and goats have a wild jamboree in a barn late at night where no one can see? Would a quail and a frog play hide-and-go-seek while a hawk preens itself at the edge of a creek? Do squirrels meet up for a hot cup of tea away from our sight in the high canopy? Might a sloth slowly play with eight-legged critters? from a branch so high up, it would give you the jitters. Do bunnies tell stories while carrots are cooking, deep down in their burrow where no one is looking? Would a ferret brave the snow, the wind, and showers to head south for a swim, to frolic for hours? Do flamingos surf waves far out at sea, seen only by crocs and a chill manatee? Yes, these could be things that some animals do when unseen by the eyes of me and of you. So take some paper and draw activities and fun that animals might have when seen by no one. We would love to see what you create, so please feel free to share them with us on Boston Children's Museum's social media channels. Thank you. Bye-bye.